What is happening, everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming from you, coming to you with uh, another video from a silhouette type of ordeal going on right now. We've got the lights right here in my eBay studio. So you're going to just see a shadow. You're not going to see a lot of detail uh, from this beautiful face of mine. But I just want to bring you guys behind the scenes and show you kind of what I'm up to right now running my eBay clothing business. Now, I made a video the other day sharing with you that I had sold off a massive amount of my clothing, which was about a thousand pieces. And a lot of people said, you know, Steve, I can't believe you quit selling clothing. Well, I want to come to you right now and say, I definitely have not quit selling clothing. And, uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Got my studio right here and I'm going to list some items. But before we get into this video and I'll explain a little bit more about what I'm going to be doing, I want to do a little mic check, make sure everything is working smooth. All right, let's see. I want to do a little mic check. All right. Sounds like the audio is all right. So cool. Um, you can't see the clothes right here, but I've got a little pile of about eight or nine pieces of clothing that I'm going to list up. And I'm actually going to be listing from my mobile device. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go through and finalize each listing during the live show. Uh, I possibly may do that. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I might, I might save them each as a draft and, and then kind of finalize them just to kind of keep things flowing during this show, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I have an iPhone 6s plus and recently I've switched things up in the past. What I would do is I would use my Canon PowerShot camera and I'd snap a bunch of pictures. Then I would take out my memory card, insert it into my computer, load up all the pictures and then list from my desktop. But a lot of things have changed recently since I got the iPhone and I've been playing around with the eBay app and it has been super quick, super easy to list items, especially clothing items, uh, you know, from my phone. And it's just been really quick and efficient. Now I do want to say, um, I haven't been used using my eBay listing template before I used to have a whole big template that I had and I had all this, you know, text that I would paste in and include a lot of various things. And I'm not including a lot of that stuff. I'm doing a lot of my, listings, maybe 50% uh, as, I don't want to say as good, but as detailed as my previous listing. So I'm very quick, I'm very efficient, and I'm, I'm trying this out to see how it works. And things have been going well uh, with my eBay business uh, in terms of, you know, really just starting from ground zero again after selling off all my clothes and, you know, being on a hiatus for about a year. So let me check the comments, see what is going on right now. Looks like we got about 66 people live. All right, let's shout some people out. I got the microphone all set up right here. All right, who is in the house? Who be the real? What is happening? Brother, what's up, Karen? Hey, not so perfectly me. Good to see you, Darren Eckelman. Clothing isn't my game. Well, it's about to be. Uh, let's see. Sam Kirker, Steve, I just picked up my copy of 101 Killer Clothing Brands. Awesome. So I do want to say right now, guys, if you are on my email list, I sent out a uh, an offer to everybody on my email list today, and I'm going to extend that out to you as well. I'm actually running a 50% off sale on all my clothing guides, pawn shop profits. Uh, so that's 101, 102 killer clothing brands, pawn shop profits, and the Blazing Profits training program. So uh, check the description. The link's in there, rakingprofit.com forward slash products. And when you get to the Gumroad sales page, use the code SAVE50. If you want to get those guides, what's going on? Uh, M. Wa, Ahad, Philip, good to see everybody. So let's get this show started right now. I want to ask you guys a favor right now because I'm going out on a limb right now. I'm bringing you guys behind the scenes. Who does this? Who brings you behind the scenes and shows you them listing actual items up? So I'm going out on a limb for you guys. I want you guys to extend out a bunch of likes for me. So smash that like button, give some love. If you're a part of a Facebook group or you've got any type of following or just some friends that you feel like this would benefit, share it with them right now. So with that being said, let's dive into this show. All right. <clears throat> okay. So here's my first item I'm getting ready to list up. And I might not be doing a ton of talking during this broadcast. So I just want to let you guys know I'm going to be kind of doing my thing and this isn't going to be a lot of socializing. It's just going to kind of be uh, you being able to see what I'm doing. So cutting off the price tag right there. So I am listing on my phone. 
So, you know, a lot of this isn't going to be super, super insightful for you, but uh, it is what it is. When I list on my phone, I like to look up what it is. So I'm actually searching for the item, and this is a Mitchell and Ness item, OJ Simpson uh, jersey. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm finding a similar one that has sold on, on my phone, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell one that is, I'm going to sell similar. I'm going to sell, uh, I'll tell you what it's called. Looks like there's nothing here. Okay, so let's find one. So there's no, there's no listings of this item that I've sold. That's very interesting. Let me see if I spelled it right. Okay. Wow. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to start my own listing up. All right. All right, I'm going to start with another listing because this is going to take too long to find the exact one. I apologize about that. It's going to take a little bit of research. So let's just move into something that's going to be a little easier to list at this time. That one was a little specialized right there. All right, so I'm finding a similar item which has sold on eBay, and then I'm going to pretty much just create create a listing uh, that mimics it. All right, sell one like this. There we go. All right, so I'm going to take my pictures. This is a pretty cool item right here. Definitely a cool item. So I like to get a bunch of different angles of the item. It's very important. Okay. All right, so I got the pictures all taken. And we got 84 people in the house. Good to see you guys. Appreciate the love. Cool, cool. So I took the pictures, and uh, I don't know if you could see them. I don't know if you'll be able to see these, but I took the pictures on the iPhone. Now pretty much what I'm going to do is get these organized, flip around some of the pictures that are flipped around wrong. It's not the sexiest thing in the world, guys, selling clothing. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, it's work. It's definitely work, but uh, it's a beautiful thing. So, okay, let's see. Camo. So what I'm doing right now is I'm creating the title on the phone. Okay. Let's see what size it is. And then we're going to jump right into the measurements, the fun part. So this is a size... 
don't even know what size this is. It doesn't even have a size on it. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to measure it to see what the size is. So it is 26, 26 inches chest. So that's going to probably be an extra large, possibly a 2X since it's a vest. Where's the weird there's no there's literally no size on this thing whatsoever nowhere it's interesting okay pre-owned yeah, it's really cool the way they made the app, guys. If you have an iPhone, check out the app for sure. Up for sale is an excellent condition Levi Strauss hunting vest, which has an excellent camo design. And then pretty much what I'm going to include is I want to include the chest measurement and then I'm going to include the length. So it's very simple. It's very straight to the point. There's not a lot of interaction going on in the, in the uh, description, but we're going to see how it works. So it's one of the setbacks to listing on your phone is you can't put as much information as you'd like. All right. So that's 31 inches. Okay. So we're going to put that, we're actually going to put this at a 2X XL because it was pushing 27 inches in, in, uh, in the chest measurement, which was close. Okay. Right. So pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm choosing the price. I'm going to actually put this thing up at $39.99. And I'm going to ship this using the global shipping program. I'm going to, I'm going to opt, out, opt in for that. And I'm also going to, all right, let's see. Choosing the weight, just doing an estimate. Okay. All right, so that item's actually listed up. I just listed it. So I'm going to have to go back since I'm doing this live and double check, make sure everything is looking smooth. All right, next item up, we have a nice, nice little fleece item right here. So I am somewhat new to using the phone, so I'm not super quick with it right now. I'm sure I'll put some systems in place to speed up that process. It's a nice item right here for sure. Let's see what's going on. Answer some questions. Would taking down the painting in the background make the picture look more professional? Does that, that not matter? I think it adds a little flavor to the listing. I think it's different. Um, I'm going to see how it works using that. But uh, a lot of people, they look, they look too deep into the little things like that. If you look at most listings on eBay, they, they really are lousy. They don't look professional at all. I think it's going to look very clean. I think it's going to look interesting. So we're going to kind of see how that works. Uh, I am in the comment section. Oh, I think it's going to look very clean. I am in the comment section right now. So just want to say hello. 87 people watching live. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, I take pics with my phone, started my listing with the pics, then save and do the description on my laptop. You know what? I might do that. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to save these as drafts and do, do the descriptions on the laptop. I think that's a great idea. So not so perfectly me. Thank you for that. I thought Steve had employees doing clothing. I actually did have an employee who was doing it a while ago. Um, but not anymore. So doing it myself. 
All right, cool. Let's move on to the next item here. Okay, done with that. But you can see exactly why having an employee is key because this is time consuming. It's very, very time consuming. Uh, pull over, okay. So what I do is I search for the item. Again, I search for the item on my iPhone. I try to find a similar one. I, I go to filter, I go to sold, I go to used if the item's used. I try to find a similar one which has sold. And then I pretty much, I don't copy that listing, but I sell under the same listing and then I, um, I just switch up the, the specifics and the details. And that allows me to speed up the process a little bit. Sell one like this, so I just found one which is similar to this item. And let's see. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these as drafts and then I'm going to finalize them on my computer just to make this a little more entertaining because me sitting on the phone the whole time, it just isn't entertaining. I know that. So we'll talk about some of the details after. So if you guys are wondering, this is actually a dress form mannequin. So if you're looking for one, just go to Amazon, type in dress form mannequin. There's a few different types of mannequins you can get. There's hanging mannequins. There's also the dress form mannequins uh, like this that are more 3D. Let's just make sure that's on nice. Presentation is very important. So, you know, people have different styles in terms of how they're going to take the picture. Uh, I've got my style. I try to like try to make it clean. Uh, yeah, so that looks looks cool. I like that. So let's let's give that a shot. See how this looks. And again, I like I like the photograph in the background. I think it looks cool. I could easily take that off, but I've decided to keep it. It's not taking a picture. Why is it not taking a picture? All right, let's see what's going on here. Cool. All right. So I got the pictures. I try to take as many pictures as possible. Sometimes, you know, you only need five or six pictures. Other times you need 10 or 12 if it's a suit or something like that. All right. So I'm going to get the measurements right now. Put this aside. See what's going on. So again, I'm going to save this as a draft and, and finish up the, the description on my laptop. That was a really good idea by someone who mentioned that before, but I am going to get the measurements right now to make it a little easier. So I'm going to get chest, length, and sleeves. Twenty-one, twenty-seven, twenty-three. So hopefully you guys are having a great night. I appreciate you all hanging out with me for a little bit. Okay. Oops. Let's go here. Save.
yeah, so that's a good idea. I'm going to pretty much save these as drafts and then finalize them on my desktop. Here's another item I'm going to be listing up. Check this out, a Nat Nast. If you guys don't know the brand Nat Nast, this is an amazing brand right here, N-A-T, N-A-S-T. Uh, this is cool, medium, uh, great design, love the color. But another thing that I like about it is it is 100% silk. So let's see if you can see that. Bada bing, bada boom. Nat Nast is the brand. Again, want to thank everyone for watching live. I definitely appreciate you guys. You all rock. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I don't know if I want to sell clothes. I don't know if, if there's money to be made. I mean, you know, Steve, why are you selling on Amazon all the time if there's so much money to be made with eBay? Here's the thing, guys, and I said this before. eBay is awesome. eBay is a great opportunity. But the problem with eBay, if you're running multiple businesses, it takes a lot of time. And if you don't have employees there helping you out, it's pretty much impossible to do full time if you don't have employees and you're running multiple businesses, which, which I'm doing. So I think there's a great opportunity there. You know, number one, you could find clothing anywhere. Number two, clothing is super cheap. Uh, number three, most people don't want to sell clothing because it takes a lot of hard work. And number four, I mean, you know, it, it takes a lot to learn. There's so many different things that you need to know in order to sell clothing that most people just are too lazy to do it. So I think it's a great opportunity and I think there's great money to be made. Um, I really do. So let me find a listing right now. Okay. Nat Nast, medium, silk, long sleeve. I like to know for, for the people who are watching live right now, do you sell clothing? And uh, let me know, what is your opinion in terms of the health of running an eBay clothing business? Is there a good, is it a good opportunity or not? What is your, what has been your experience? And if you have an opinion, let everybody know how long have you been selling clothing for? Because I'll tell you the people I talk to that have been selling clothing for a while, they say it's better than ever. You know, obviously things change and different brands improve, other brands decrease in value. Um, but for the people I know who are full-time clothing sellers, all I hear is I hear a lot of good things. So, okay, cool. Sell one like this. All right. Let's do some photos. Yeah, it's a beautiful shirt right here. I love the design. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the silhouette action going on with the lights. This is a great item right here. Oh, that looks so beautiful, guys. If you can see what this picture is looking like, it is looking clean, super clean. Oh, this looks amazing. We got RT Car Key live commenting on my videos. So for anyone watching live, be sure to shout out RT. Cool. Let's see. Awesome. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of RT. RT is actually my girlfriend. We're back together. I'm happy to announce that. And um, I've been helping her to, to get started selling on eBay, and she actually made her first three sales this week after getting her uh, eBay account up. So uh, that should be inspiration for anyone who's been watching this and you're like, you know what? I don't know if I got what it takes to sell on eBay. You can do it. Trust me. RT did it. She didn't know anything. She just got started, but you know, you can do it and there's money to be made. So big shout out to RT and for anybody who's brand new, you know, you can do it. You can make it happen. Oh, this shirt looks amazing. I love it. This is a great shirt. All right. 
So again, I hope you guys are having a spectacular night. Super grateful for everybody who subscribed to my channel. I mean, you guys keep me on track. You guys keep me rocking and rolling. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to help you guys out. Really am. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, all right, we're going to do the measurements right now. We're going to get the, let me save these pictures. We're going to get the uh, chest length and then sleeves. Okay, let's just adjust these. All right, looking good, looking good. You know, it's hard work listing on eBay. I mean, it's not like manual labor, but it's hard work. It's time consuming, uh, but you know, it pays off. It definitely pays off uh, at the end of the week when you do your listing. So if you want to make money with eBay, you're going to have to put in the time. There is no way around it unless you hire employees, but it's worth it. I love it. I really do. And I've missed eBay. I really have. All right, so that's coming in at 22, 22 inches. The length from the top of the collar down to the hem, 31 inches. Looking good. And then the sleeves, let's get this out of here. The sleeves are coming in at 25 even. 25 even, the sleeves. Okay, so let's save this. Save this as the draft. Cool. So let's see what is going on live on YouTube. 105 people watching live. Big shout out to all you folks in the house. Let's see what is going on for the comments. Let's answer some questions and see what's going on. Man, we got a lot of love in the house. 72 people liking this video. That is awesome. Picking profits, man. You you keep coming in here stirring up trouble, man. You're a good guy picking profits, but the problem with you picking profits is you're always picking fights with people, man. You're a good guy. I've met you in real life. You're smart. You're knowledgeable. But the problem is you're focusing way too much on negative. And one thing I've learned in my life is when you focus on something, you know, whether you're right or you're wrong, if you're focusing on negative, if you're putting people down, if you're always trying to trash people, it's going to come back to you, man. It's going to come back to you. And, you know, I don't wish anything bad on you picking profits, man, but you know, you're doing a disservice to your audience. You're doing a disservice to everybody in this chat because you're focusing on negative, man. So if you want to help people out, you know, help them out. But if not, man, just get lost. Uh, Antonio Lopez, what's going on? We got Jeff Allen. What's happening? All right. Cool, cool. So we got a lot of cool comments coming in. Appreciate it, Kinetic Energy. All right, cool. So let's keep moving. So we got this here, this Nat Nast. Let's move on to a sport coat. We got a sport coat. That is going to be listed. This is a beautiful sport coat right here. I love this. You guys, this is camel hair. If you're going to mess with Brooks Brothers, camel hair sport coats do phenomenal. They absolutely do phenomenal. We got a two button sport coat right here, fully lined, excellent item. Established 1818. Cool, cool. So let's get this puppy listed up. Again, I'm going to look for a similar one. Brooks Brothers 42 regular camel hair. So it looks like these Camel Hair Brooks Brothers uh, sport coats are selling for a whole wide array of prices. So I'm looking right now at the sold listings. I see one for 30. I see one for 20, one for 55, one at 135. 
So I'd probably shoot on this camel hair sport coat, Brooks Brothers. I'd probably shoot for 60 to 80 based on my business model. That's what I'm thinking right there. So uh, unfortunately, typically what I would do when I'm selling sport coats is I would put like a nice dress shirt on here with a clip on tie. I'm a little unprepared, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna do the pictures the best I can right now. So bear with me. All right. Yeah, it's not gonna look anywhere as nice as it as it could if I had a dress shirt underneath it. Uh, it's too bad, but I think it'll still do fine. Again. Uh, you know, as long as it looks clean and presentable, I think that's the important part. So that looks nice. 100% camel hair, 42 regular. Looks beautiful. Looks very good. Time to measure the fun part. We're going to do a little measuring right now. So took the pictures looking good. Tell you the pictures. If you guys are thinking about getting an iPhone, get it all day long. The pictures come out phenomenal. So when I, when I do the sport coats, I usually like to include one more measurement, sometimes two, uh, but I'm going to include not only the chest, the length and the sleeves, and I'm also going to include the shoulder measurement as well. And while this is, while I'm doing this, I'll answer some question. RT is an Indian name. She's actually from Nepal. Steve Rakin likes his girls underage, man. What? You are crazy, man. Uh, let's see. Dude, picking profits, man. You are like the biggest troll I think I've ever met, man. Like, I don't want to block you, but like, it's crazy. This guy's got like 30,000 subscribers and acts like a freaking, we won't go into it. Uh, let's see. Picking for profit. What's going on? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so chest. Chest is important. Length. Sleeves. And we're going to do some shoulders. Make sure to include measurements when you are selling clothing. It's very, very important. Man, some of you guys in the comments section are freaking crazy tonight. We got some crazy folks in the comments, man. So. Let's keep it. Let's keep it productive. You know, don't forget we're all here to help each other, to make money, to grow our business. Um, you know, if you're here to start problems, if you're here to be negative, find another channel because we're here. We're working. We're we're learning. We're we're making money, and and that's what this channel is about. It's about making money. It's about selling on eBay. So we got a 22 inch chest. Don't ruin it for everybody else who wants to make a difference in their life. You know what? A lot of you folks, you get too comfortable. You get way too comfortable and you don't realize that at one point you were trying to make a change in your life. You don't remember there was one point in your life where you were working a nine to five and you were miserable. You know, there's people out there right now who are watching this and they want to make a change in their life. So give them a chance. Give them a chance to make a change. Keep the, keep the comment section positive. Keep it on, keep it on uh, track. You know, we, we should be here to help each other and make a difference instead of trolling each other and giving people a hard time. Nineteen inches. You know, if it wasn't for eBay, if it wasn't for Amazon, you know, I'd be miserable working at my nine to five jobs. That's why I'm so grateful. That's why I'm so grateful to be selling on eBay and Amazon. That's why I make a lot of these videos because I know what it was like. 
I know what it was like being miserable, waking up every single day, going to a job that I hated, I couldn't stand, I wasn't passionate, I didn't enjoy it. So, you know, I'm, I'm forever in, indebted to and in grateful for eBay and Amazon because it, it really did, I hate to say that it saved my life, but it gave me a purpose in life. So, all right. Just signed up for FBA because of you and Chris getting my first shipment tomorrow with my Dymo. Congratulations. That's what it's all about. You know, get that first shipment out. It's super important. And once you get your shipment, your first shipment out, you're going to build momentum. You're going to build some confidence. You're going to say, wow, I did it. And you're going to go, you know, to different thrift stores and garage sales. You're going to find more and more stuff. And I'm telling you right now, it's addicting. So congratulations for getting out your first shipment. All right, this guy, the Keggy, he's got to go because this guy is just acting a fool. So the Keggy, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. The heck? The Keggy, man. This Keggy's acting crazy in the comments section. All right, let's see. Seeing if there's any questions I could help. All right. You know, I've never claimed to be, you know, the all, you know, know it all, the greatest. I've never claimed to, you know, be making $50,000 a month from eBay. I've never claimed to know it all. So, you know, Andrew, man, I don't, I don't get what your, what your issue is, man. I mean, I've never disrespected you. I've always said good things about you. I've always been myself. I've always been honest. I've always been real. You know, I've sold products before, but if anybody has ever gone through 101 killer clothing brands, 102 killer clothing brands, blazing profits, you know that there's probably nothing out there that's been created in terms of a guide that is better. Anything I put out is high quality. It makes a difference. Let me ask you guys a question right now. Have you spent any money in the last 24 hours on anything? Have you gone to a restaurant? Have you purchased something? Maybe a tripod? Did you go anywhere and spend any money? Why do you spend money? Why do people spend money? They're spending money because they're willing to exchange the money in their pocket for something that they feel is of value. If something's of value and someone's helping people and making a difference and adding value, there will be money exchanged. There will be someone who is compensated. So for everyone out there, Focus on giving value. Focus on making a difference. Never be ashamed for helping people and making a difference and being compensated for it. Never be ashamed for being real. Never be ashamed for making a difference and you know being who you are. Never be ashamed. Don't let the people out there, and I know this video is kind of going off course because there's a lot of people talking about it, but don't let those haters out there, don't let those trolls take you down. And not, you know, I don't want to say who we're talking about is a bad person, but when someone's always focusing on negativity 24 seven, and I'm sure you maybe have friends like this or family, you can't let them take you down because I'm telling you the negativity, it will bring you down. So, you know, don't be ashamed for making a difference. Don't be ashamed for living with a, a passion and, and, and being who you are. Never, ever, ever change because someone out there doesn't appreciate what you're doing. You cannot get anybody out there you can't get everybody to like you. And that's one thing that I've learned from YouTube. You know, one of my biggest challenges is realizing, you know what? I could be as honest as possible. I could be who I am. I could try to make a difference and help people. But there's going to be some people who just do not like you. They just won't. They don't like how you talk. They don't like how you look. They don't like that you're making money. And the crazy thing is my YouTube channel is based around making money. It's based around making money on eBay. It's based around making money on Amazon. It's based on hustling, right? And then when someone who has a YouTube channel like that tries to sell something and tries to make money, everything's up in flames. It just, it blows my mind sometimes how you can be yourself. You can be true. You can be a hustler. But then when you hustle, there's some people who just don't like that. So never be ashamed. I know I, I keep saying it. It's a broken record. 
but be who you are and uh it is what it is mr profits man we should squash this right now the reason why you're being a troll is because you're consistently criticizing you're consistently criticizing and you know what I'm going to just say this live right now. We used to be friends. We used to be good friends and we used to talk all the time and you never had any problems. You never had any problems. And then all of a sudden things switched when I went into Kindle publishing and making money with Kindle books and eBooks, which was perfectly fine because if you're adding value again, there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. So I guess the problem is when you're constantly criticizing and you're constantly putting people down and you're constantly being negative without being constructive that's i guess that's when i'd say that you're being a troll so all right let's get back into business guys let's make some money we could all be friends there's no reason why we, we can't all be friends so well this is a beautiful sport coat So I apologize, guys, this, this live broadcast is getting a little crazy tonight, but you know, you gotta be real. You gotta be who you are. You can't always hide. You gotta be yourself and, and say it how it is sometimes. All right, so we got a beautiful Canali sport coat right here. Oh man, this looks crisp. I've said it before guys, but it doesn't matter how good of a camera you have. You can have the best camera in the world. The key is the lighting. You've got to have good lighting. So I got these lights off of, uh, I believe I got them off of Amazon. So you've got the, 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 the light holders, uh, the little tripods right here. You've got the lights, you've got the umbrella, which is diffusing the light. And I've got these going in at, I believe what, kind of like a 90 degree angle on the actual item. So it's super important. Again, you could have the best camera in the world, but if your lighting sucks, your pictures aren't going to come out very clean. So that's very, very important. Just want to say that. Again, guys, I want to thank everyone for watching live. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you all watching. It's definitely a good time working and, and hanging out with you folks. So thank you for coming and hanging out. So this is actually 50% wool and 50% something else. Cool. Time to do some measuring. Twenty one inches, chest thirty four inches, length. Let's get the sleeves measurement. 
25, and then shoulders is coming in at 18. So there we go. Nice Canali sport coat. This item is 50% wool and 50% something else. Forgot what it was, but two button, fully lined. Interesting item, interesting color. Uh, very nice tag in here. So that should go for, I'm going to have to do some more research. Maybe 50 to 100 bucks on that. Probably a little lower. All right, we have another. Oh, here's a nice. Burgundy Gildo Yegna or Zegna, however you want to pronounce it. We've got a nice button front shirt, button down collar, uh, standard cuffs. Nice shirt. This is coming in at size medium. So if you guys have any questions about selling clothing, be sure to drop a comment. I'm going to jump into the comment section real quick and answer some questions. You guys don't don't be you know picking on picking profits or starting battles with him. I mean it is what it is. So you know I see these comments are getting crazy in here, guys. Let's let's keep it focused, man. You know it's it's not easy to get along with with everybody, but let's let's keep things positive in this comment section. I got a Brooks Brothers suit coat because of Steve, but need to get a mannequin. The mannequin is so important. You've got to get the mannequin. I never sold men's clothes. Is it a hard sell for women? I'm not sure if you're asking about women's clothes or not. I've never really had much experience selling women's clothing. It's mostly been men's for me. So, Man, these comments are crazy in here tonight. Hey, Steve, how big of a store do you think you need to have number of items to make a full-time living? Uh, well, I do clothing part-time now. I'm literally just building up my eBay store as we go. I think I've got about 80 something items in my store. So I've been building it up over the last two months. Uh, recently just sold off about a thousand items. Um, for me, I was able to do it full-time when I had about a thousand items in my inventory, uh, full-time, probably if I wanted to like, if you want to make a couple grand per month, I'd say, you know, 500 items probably, uh, if you want to be consistent three to 500. It really depends on the types of items that you are picking up and the quality. Steve, with how deep you're in FBA, why bother going back to eBay? Too juicy to ignore. Uh, it's, it's a good little side income. It, you know, it helps to pay for the apartment, helps to pay some bills and whatnot. And, you know, I'm in these thrift stores, I'm at these garage sales and there's certain items I just can't pass up. It's hard. It's really hard to pass up some of these items. So uh, that's the main reason. It's, it's hard to leave the money on the table. Uh, mannequins are cheap on Poshmark, all kinds. Yeah, mannequins aren't super expensive. Trump or Hillary, man. I ain't gonna get into that in this in this uh, in this common feed. This common feed is crazy tonight. <laughs> Steve, do you like selling books more or clothing? I I definitely love selling uh, books more for sure. Uh, it's it's a lot easier. It's a lot more scalable. And with FBA being able to leverage FBA, I'd say books for sure. Uh, I've been finding some killer books uh, recently. I mean, they're literally killing it with the books. Uh, everyone, your opinion, eBay is great part-time gig. I've never done FBA. Is FBA time consuming or too costly? Um, we'll let everybody else chip in. Uh, but I'd say in terms of time consuming, FBA is a lot less time consuming. Uh, of course, depending on what you're selling. Um, you know, but you can, you can do very well with eBay. You can do very well with Amazon. It just really depends. Would you rather list 10 items at a hundred a piece or a hundred items at 10 a piece? Um, for me personally with eBay, I would rather go with the 10 items at a hundred a piece because it's going to take a lot less time having to, uh, having to list up a hundred items by myself is going to take up a ton of time. So I would definitely say the first one, Steve, how do you get your first rating on eBay or if you're new? You just got to start selling. You just got to start selling items and, and, and feedback will start to come in naturally, organically. Um, also, you could start buying things. You can get feedback and most buyers or um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, most buyers, uh, if you're selling stuff, they're just going to look at your overall feedback. They're not going to 
narrow it down to only as a seller. Um, for my, I don't know, that's just what I feel like. So you can start buying items and getting feedback that way. What is the lighting system? I have bad lighting. Uh, right here we have uh, two lights. Uh, let's see if I can see what the wattage is on these. Uh, 120 volts, 85 watts, top lighting. Uh, that's the company, I guess. It's hooked up to a little tripod. Got the umbrella right here to diffuse the light, which is really important because if, if you don't have the umbrella there to stop the light from coming in, it's gonna it's gonna over contrast it. It's gonna uh, is that the word I'm looking for? Um, pretty much, it's gonna just it's gonna be glaring on the on the item too much. It's just not gonna look natural. So you need the umbrellas. Just go to Amazon right now and just type in you know uh, photography kit. Two million rank is the sweet spot for books. That's where all the good stuff is with low competition and high value. Love those types of books. I definitely agree with pick and profit. It's not a ton of competition there, so it's a good remark. Um, yeah, there's a lot of comments coming in. What do you? What kind of camera do you use to take pictures? Uh, right now, I'm just using my iPhone 6s Plus. Uh, I used to use a Canon Elf 330 or 300. I don't remember. Um, you know, the quality was a little bit better, I'd say. It was definitely a little bit better with the Canon Elf. Um, but I'm, I'm experimenting with the phone. So, you know, one thing you got to know about me is I'm always constantly moving. I'm always changing. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try this out with this one photograph here. I'm going to try this out with my phone. Uh, I'm going to try it out with my strategy. And if I see that it's not working or I feel like maybe it can be better, I'll try my camera again and then I'll compare the results. It's called split testing. So it's very important to split split test in your life and your business, you know, with your health, do a split test. Maybe you'll find that running on an empty stomach in the morning yields you better results than just running after your workout, right? Maybe you'll find that, you know, taking this picture off the wall and taking pictures versus having the picture. Maybe you'll find that the first way makes you more money and more sales, you know, split testing with free shipping versus non-free shipping, uh, split testing with running sales all the time versus running sales periodically. Split testing is key. So uh, one thing I always like to do is I like to split test. I like to try new things out. I like to see what happens. And you know, that's why I like to try different businesses. I've jumped from eBay to Amazon, um, Kindle publishing, uh, you know, Craigslist. I try all these different things out because I'm trying to see what sticks and what works best. It's split testing. Uh, what do you do when you have plenty of items that won't sell? Um, drop the price, run sales, try a different platform possibly. Maybe eBay isn't the place for it. Maybe Amazon is better. Um, or just stop buying those items. Steve, the stream, it looks out of focus, blurry now. Out of focus, blurry. Let me see what is going on. Stop buying those items. Looks pretty smooth on my part. So it is what it is. Um... I don't have a ton of experience selling mugs. So I know some folks do. I know there's great money to be made with it. A lot of people criticize people for selling mugs. Oh, you can't make money with mugs, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of money to be made with mugs. Look at the sold listings. You just need to know what to buy. You just need to know what to buy and you have to have a strategy for it. Um, let's see. Shout out to the green room peeps. Let's get another item listed up. I'm going to list up this Ermini Gildo. Yegna, Zegna, whatever you want to call it. Let's get this puppy listed up. Ermini, Gildo, Zegna, button front. What size is this? Size medium. So again, if you're just coming into this broadcast, I am listing on my phone, finding a similar item, selling one like this, pretty much piggybacking in a sense uh, to that listing, and then taking the pictures, saving it as a draft, and I'm going to finalize my listings once I get onto my desktop, which may be a good idea or it may not be a good idea. But again, split testing is key. Try different things out. See what works best for you. 
You know, don't criticize others for the way they do things. Try, you know, try it first. And that's one thing I like to do. I like to try. I don't like to say, oh, that won't work. Let's see. Let's see how it does. If it doesn't work, what's the worst thing that happens? You just go back to the way it was. It's very, very important to try new things out. Don't get stuck in the habit of just doing what you've always been doing. Try things out. Live life. You only have one life to live. See what works best. You never know. Listening on the phone might change your life. All right. That doesn't look good. How does that look? Looks pretty good. A little crooked. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. You don't have to be perfect with your pictures as well. That's another thing I want to mention. Just, you know, make sure they look good. Make sure they look clean and professional. I think that's the most important thing. You don't have to be like super, super anal about it being like amazing, super, super amazing. You know, obviously the more higher end stuff you're selling, you know, 80 bucks, 100 bucks plus, it's important. Um, you know, but for a button front shirt, you know, just make it look good. And I think, I think this looks good. Is it perfect? Is it the best? Absolutely not. But I think it looks fairly clean. Cool. So let's take that off the mannequin. Let's get some measurements going. So if you guys are just coming in, listing items right now on eBay, listing on my phone. It hasn't been the quickest for me, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's kind of been a little slow tonight. Maybe it's because I'm live. Um, but it is what it is. We're going to see how this see how this goes. All right, the chest is coming in at 22, 22 inches for the chest. The length is coming in at 33. So we've got 22, 33. And let's see how the sleeves are coming in. 25, 25 inches, so that's good. Let's get this item listed up right now. So what do we have again? Size medium, long sleeve, uh, black. Is this made in Italy? I believe it's made in, yeah. Oh, I love clothing that's made in Italy. It's my favorite. I love it. Okay. Let's... Um, all right. I think we're going to put this up for like... Put it up for twenty nine ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine. I like that price plus shipping. I'm experimenting right now with with adding shipping and not doing free shipping. I've talked about it before how free shipping. I believe it helps to rank in the search engines. But what do you guys think? Free shipping or not? Or offering or offering shipping and having the buyer pay? What is your opinion? I, I'd like your your input on that. All right, so that's gonna be the last item I'm gonna I'm gonna do live right now. Let me move this camera down and talk to you guys a little bit live and direct. All right. Okay, let's switch things up. Ooh, there we go. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get this camera all situated. All right, should be good to go now. Let's see how we looking. What's up? What's up? Whoa, my thing is falling all apart. This is the crazy part of doing it live by yourself. There we go. I think we're looking good now. Okay. By yourself. 
All right. So yeah, let me know what questions you guys have. I'd be happy to uh, answer some questions right now and, and see what I can do to help you guys out. I'm here to help as much as I possibly can. Hopefully you guys like my green room shirt right now. I like it. I think it looks cool. All right. <laughs> Louis the seller. Uh, it's muggy. It's really muggy out in my garage right now. So I haven't been doing any business in there. I know I made a video about it in the past, but it's just so muggy and hot in there. I just, I don't know. I, I've, I just want to, I usually don't list in this corner right here. I typically don't. Um, but I like to switch things up, get a little crazy sometimes. Selling clothes on eBay will be what percentage of your business now? Um, eBay, I don't know the percentage, but I'm trying to build it up to a couple thousand a month. So it's very little right now. Uh, I've been out of the eBay game for a while. And uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, in order to build up your sales on eBay, you've got to build up your listings. So I've only got about 80 something listings right now. Uh, my goal is to get up to three, 400 and, and get back to, you know, doing three to 4,000 a month in sales and eventually possibly, you know, maybe five plus if, if I've got the time, I just don't know. Um, if I was, if I could do a couple thousand dollars per month on eBay part time, I'd, I'd be happy with that. So 73 to be exact. Wow. Do you ever use 360 photography on eBay? It's amazing and saves time. I don't even know what that is. 360 photography. That sounds interesting. All right. So I've got about, in terms of the inventory that I've left for clothing, I've got about probably another hundred items or so that I'm going to be listing up uh, that I didn't sell from my thousand lot that I did that I did end up selling. So if you guys didn't see that video, be sure to check it out. I ended up selling about a thousand plus items uh, to a reseller from Pennsylvania. And uh, I had picked out some items months back and, and I was upfront with him about that and everything. I didn't take all the good stuff, but I had picked out a few items before we put the deal together that I put aside because they were just really good items. So I've got those to list up and I've got items that I'm finding, you know, on, on a regular basis when I'm out thrifting. So uh, I will use that inventory to build up my uh, eBay account and hopefully build the sales back again. Do you, do you raise prices uh, during Q4 for eBay? Uh, I'm just pricing it right now and kind of just leaving it. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know your market, right? Like for example, uh, with, when Pokemon Go hit, if anyone was following the trend and what was going on, it would have been smart to raise your prices on Pokemon uh, stuff because the, the things just exploded. Anything, anything Pokemon is going through the roof. Take a look at the Game Boy games, the red, the blue, the yellow. I mean, going through the roof. Uh, so the same, you know, stands true for certain items, depending on what you're selling, uh, different times of the year, the season and whatnot. But I typically am, am, am just pricing and kind of leaving it there. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> uh, let's see. Steve, you ever thought about getting into real estate, perhaps as an agent or just buying, selling homes? Um, probably about 2008, so about eight or nine years ago, uh, I did do some real estate. I started as a bird dog and then I was helping to, um, going a little farther than that, I was working with a, uh, a money guy, if you want to call it that. Not a money shark, but... Uh, a guy who would invest in property. So what I would do is I was putting out the marketing, I was putting out the banded signs, the flyers, I was calling uh, foreclosed houses, uh, talking to banks, different things like that. And I was trying to negotiate deals. And, and I did that for a little while and then the market crashed in 2008. Uh, but I would like to get back into kind of doing that and flipping houses and stuff. I think that's really cool and I think there's some good money to be made. Raking, do you prefer selling books or clothes and why? Uh, I'd say books for sure, Amazon FBA. Why? Because you can leverage FBA by, like for example, say I find 30 books at a thrift store, which it's not that hard to do. Find 30 books, you put them into the Amazon system, you scan them in with your barcode uh, scanner, uh, you choose all your prices. I use Inventory Lab to list everything up. And then you box all those 30 items up and you send them off to Amazon FBA. And when they sell, 
they pick it, they pack it, they ship it, and they pretty much send you a check in a nutshell. Obviously, there's some more, uh, you know, ins and outs to it, but I prefer that because I could just kind of like get everything shipped out and then not have to worry about it. Whereas with 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 an eBay business, you know, when something after you list it, you've got to store it. You know, there's questions that are coming in. You know, what's the size? You know, can you get this measurement for me? Can you take a picture of that? Then you got to ship it and hope it gets there and um, deal with customer service returns. You know, it's just there's a lot of there's a lot of different there's more things to deal with 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 eBay versus Amazon. So just for that reason alone, I would say I prefer books over over clothing. Clothing's cool. It's a lot more work. Um, terms of margins, margins, you can't beat books with margins. Uh, you can't beat books, but margins are really good with clothing. Um, but it takes time. As you can see, you know, you gotta, you gotta put it on a mannequin. You've got to list it. You got to measure it. You got to store it. You got to ship it. You got to, there's a lot of things to do. So I would say books to answer that questions. Steve, you ever thought about, okay, I already read that question. Steve Rakin, do you want to make a video together at the next Trump rally in Connecticut? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That would be crazy. All right. Steve, can you make $3,000 profit on Amazon FBA? I do it pretty, pretty easily. Um, for me, in order to make three grand to four grand profit, uh, per month, I'd say if you're going to be thrifting and you're going to be dealing with books, uh, a little bit of retail arbitrage, garage sale items and stuff, you're going to have to ship probably 50 to 100 items per week. Uh, if you're dealing with pawn shops, calculators, camera stuff like that, 50 to 100 items a week, um, you can make three to four grand per month on Amazon. But it's it's hard work. It takes time to get there. You know, everyone always wants to know how much money do you make? How how long does it take to get here? It really depends. It's it's a it's a learning process, you know. The thing I would recommend to you folks out there is to start with a small goal. You know, if you've never sold on Amazon FBA, don't have a goal to make three thousand, four thousand a month. Start with a goal of being able to make your first hundred dollars profit. You know, maybe I want to list up five items and make a hundred dollars profit. And then your next goal, once you hit that, is maybe I want to list up twenty five items and make a thousand dollars profit. And you slowly start building on it. You want to have achievable, you know realistic, believable goals for your short term goals. And then your long term goals, five years, you know, a year, five years, 10 years out, it can be crazy, like unbelievable goals that you're like, I don't know how I'm going to get there. But your short term goals should be goals that you believe and that are realistic and that you can actually take action on, you know, listing up five items to make a hundred dollars profit. You can do that. You know, listing up 25 items after that to make a thousand dollars profit. You can do that as well. So that's my advice in terms of that. All right, let's see what else is going on here. When you go out sourcing, how do you estimate shipping, especially on heavy items? Uh, are you talking about eBay or Amazon? I'll tell you, Amazon right now, you can with the Amazon seller app, you can actually see what the fees are going to be. Like, for example, you can see something that's going for $39.99, maybe a book but it's a super heavy book. It'll actually show you on the app how much you're going to get after fees. Uh, so that's easy. In terms of eBay, um, it depends on the size of the item, right? Because certain items, they might be really heavy, but they're small and you know you could fit them in a flat rate. So you know, you know, max it's going to be 10 bucks a ship or 12 bucks a ship. Um, certain items, if they're really big, it could be challenging. You just want to make sure that there's plenty of margins. I know that's it's kind of a lousy explanation. Um, but it comes with experience and you know, you can ship something that's 40 pounds. that might be 40 bucks to ship one place and then a hundred somewhere else. If you're on the East coast shipping to the West coast, 40 pounds is going to be super expensive if you can't fit that in a flat rate. Uh, another quick tip for you guys, something really heavy that you, sh that you sell on eBay. If you're shipping your items off of eBay, which I highly recommend, it'll save you money uh, and save you time. FedEx. FedEx has saved me so much money shipping heavy items and big items. So definitely look into FedEx. Man, some people in this comment feed is are, are really letting me down. Knowledgeable people in here. 
I don't understand what's the hate's not even coming at me anymore. I'm reading these comments and there's 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 battles going on in here, guys. There's battles. I mean, you got to think about it, right? You got to think about it. When you're when you're battling and fighting and arguing with people, you're in a negative place. It's very hard. It's very hard to bring in prosperity, good health, mental clarity. It's hard to be reaching your goals when you're fighting. So I don't care who's in the comments right now if you're right or you're wrong. If you're if you're going down that pipeline, if you're if you're in that that energy, you're going to attract things into your life. You know, you could be doing great financially, but you're super negative and you might be super unhealthy, right? And that might just be something you're attracting into your life. Because I'll tell you right now, you know, I'm 190 pounds. I remember being 240 pounds. I remember being negative and, and trolling sometimes and just being upset with life. And, you know, it hurts yourself. It really does hurt yourself in the end. And then you go and you reach for food or you reach for something bad to eat to make you feel better to be able to go to sleep at night and i know we're kind of getting deep and crazy but you've got to keep things positive you've got to keep things positive it's it's only hurting you when you're hating on people and there's times sometimes well i hate and i catch myself because it's bringing me down and and then i feel lousy about it so try to keep things positive guys uh you know a lot of good people in the house right now steve stop eating so much food no, but you guys are awesome. You know what? You guys really are great, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. We got 158 people watching live. So if you are watching live and coming on in, smash that like button. You know, I I, I love hanging out with you guys because you guys are like minded. You're hustlers. You're here to make money. You're working hard. You're here to learn, and and that's what it's all about. It's a journey. It's a journey selling on eBay, selling on Amazon FBA, and who knows where this, this journey is going to take us to? You know, things are changing so quick with all this technology and different softwares and scanners and smartphones. I mean, it's, it's going to be an exciting, I'm not even talking into the microphone. It's going to be an exciting uh, journey. I could say that over the next uh, couple of years. So uh, super grateful for you guys watching live again, be sure to smash that like button. Also be sure to check out my guides 50% off for the next, I think I'm going to leave it open for the next two Days. So if you're interested in learning about selling clothing on eBay or even pawn shops, how I make money with pawn shops, check the link in the description. Use the code SAVE50. All the information is down below. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching. 129 likes. You guys are awesome. All right, guys. Well, I am going to head out. Hopefully you guys have a great night. Peace. And I'll see you later. Keep it positive. Keep your head up. Stop hating. Stop trolling. Life's too short. You don't want to be on your deathbed and realize, you know what, could have done something more in my life, but I was criticizing and taking other people down. So, you know, keep it real, keep it positive. You guys rock and I will see you in the next video. Bye.